gardening. It's a great way to spend time outdoors and relax, but no fun if you have back pain. Today, I'm here with Eliza Fournier at the Chicago Botanic Garden. Eliza, how are you? I'm doing well, and yes, gardening can be hard on our bodies, but there are things that we can do to make it easier and healthier. Absolutely. First thing I always like to do is take a walk around the garden and take some time to really warm up my back and my body and to start to move a little bit before I get into the heavy duty gardening work. And five minutes is enough time to get the blood to flow and get the muscles to relax. But the key to gardening and what we have to understand about avoiding the back pain is avoiding the, the prolonged flexion. Flexion is bending with the spine. Prolonged flexion of the spine loads the disc. What we wanna do is we wanna do what's called a hip hinge. Hip hinge is where you're bending with the hips. If you're leaning, you can lean forward with the hips, okay? Now there are many tools that help us better get into this position where we're not loading the spine. And when you came up, I saw that you had this, this lovely cart here. And this is a nice alternative to a wheelbarrow. The nice thing about this is this has two wheels that really allow us to balance our load, maintaining that hip hinge and keeping a healthy back. Sure, it takes the pressure off the spine. Absolutely, and the next tool I have is this nice kneeler that allows us to ease down into our workstation using our arms rather than our back. It's a nice cushion for your knees so I can stay in this position for a longer period of time and do my work and allows us to have easy access to everything we're doing right in front of us. So, so the key is to have the workstation in front of you, maybe avoid the, the twisting and the turning. And then if I'm sitting, if I need to be in a different position, if I need to sit in the garden for long periods of time, it is a nice bench as well. Sure, and gets you into that hip hinge position, allows you to bend at the hips. So tell me about this tool here. This is a cultivator, and a lot of us are familiar with the short-handled version of this tool, but the short-handled version really limits our range of motion. If you start try and stretch up farther here, you're going to be putting strain on your back. The long handle allows us to really extend our range of motion while maintaining a straight spine and a healthy back. Sure. So proper use of tools, getting into the hip hinge position, using the best tools available, allow you to do that. Now tell me a little bit about what we're planting here today. So we've got a beautiful petunia here, but the real star of the show is this Swiss chard. What I love about this plant is it's packed full of vitamins, antioxidants, it's easy to grow, and it tastes delicious. Excellent, excellent. So it's edible, high in antioxidants. Antioxidants, very good for the spine. Gardening gets us out moving around. Healthy spine. Healthy garden. Healthy life.